following sampler is of a concert program devised by the early music trio Hexacordia. Titled The Palace of Illusions, it was inspired by the meeting between Henry VIII and Francis I at the Field of the Cloth of Gold near Calais in June 1520. The field was a temporary city consisting of hundreds of tents, a pavilion 60 feet high and a four-towered castle built of wood and canvas painted to look like stone. There was even a fountain running with wine. 5,000 courtiers accompanied King Henry from England with an equal number accompanying the French king. To provide entertainment at this grand meeting, both monarchs brought their own choirs, composers and musicians. To tell this story in music and words, Hexacordia has imagined that they are three of the musicians engaged to provide entertainment at this prestigious event. Using as a starting point contemporary eyewitness accounts, the trio present their own interpretation of what it was to be part of this historic meeting, which was to be referred to later as the Palace of Illusions. So, Tony, this is France? Not so different from Kent, after all. Well, Sarah, what did you expect? Frogs jumping about everywhere? Oh, shush, you two. Keep your voices down. Our fellow French musicians are around. Yes, I think they've come to compare notes with Master Cornish and Master Fairfax. I see they've turned out in force with their sackbutts and cornets. But I reckon we've got the edge over them when it comes to our lutes and viols. Yes, I agree. And we've got some of the finest singers and composers not least King Henry himself. <laughs> not that anyone wishing to keep their head would dare say otherwise. Oh, I'm still feeling quite seasick from the boat journey. Anyway, I must go and replace that broken vial string before we play. <laughs> We've got it easy, you know. Think of the many months of preparation that's gone into this whole occasion. Since March, Cardinal Wolsey has had armies of carpenters and labourers working flat out to construct this whole city. Yes, Jane. Much of the great oak timbers they used came from Holland. There were over 6,000 workmen in total, so I'm told. I just can't wait to see it all and start playing. I simply cannot believe my eyes. So many people. So many tents. So many horses. And so much noise. And soon we'll be adding to it. Off we go. never seen so much finery in my whole life. The ladies of the court look sumptuous in their velvet and satin. And just look at our king in his cloth of gold and silver. The jewels are simply sparkling in this bright sunshine. And the gold bells on his horse are a nice touch. Phew, I'm so hot. Is the weather always like this in France? I'm told it is even hotter here than in Rome. And the wind. I've heard that the jousters couldn't couch their lances. And, can you believe it, even the French king's huge tent blew away. Time to playing for the king. You know how much he enjoys his music. Well, it certainly beats working for a living. What 
watch out. The king's coming over. Oh, I expect he's wanting to play loot duets with me again. go too badly. I might have lost my fingering, but at least I kept my head. <laughs> oh, yes, very good. Look, you two, we need to prepare for this evening's banquet. We could do with practising that sermacy piece, as I hear the composer himself will form part of the French minstrels group. is getting up to lead the dancing. <laughs> Let's hope she's not too full after all that feasting. And now here come the two kings, ready to dance the pavan. Things must be going well. They're holding hands. grumbling about the extravagance of this whole event, I'm told it's really improved things between England and France. Yes, the Cardinal will be pleased as well as relieved. Well, you two, at least we got an all-expenses-paid holiday abroad for a couple of weeks. And all that French wine. Let's hope there'll be a lasting peace between our two countries. Come on, we'd better sing that song our King wrote. He'll be expecting it. Past time with good company, I love and show until I die. We hope that you have enjoyed this short sampler. All the music and dialogue in this presentation has been researched, written, and performed by the Hexacordia trio Tony Shoriga, Sarah Doig and Jane Shoriga. The full concert version of The Palace of Illusions lasts for approximately one hour. It contains the music and imagined conversations you have just heard, plus much more. For more information about Hexacordia, please visit our website www.hexacordia.com or email us info at hexacordia.com dot com.